You are watching a master at work. Uh, I'll get the mop. If I had any brains, I would just leave. Hello? This is Emma. I'm trying to reach... Oh, this is stupid. Keep trying. Hello? Emma Jaunt? It's Ryan. Okay. No need to tell the whole world it's me. Listen. I wanted to talk to you about poor dear Michael. I was upset. You didn't have to actually leave. Staying was never the plan. I got a way out. Yes, well, if it doesn't work out, you're welcome back here. Thanks. I'll keep the hot tub warm just in case. Take care. Bye. Better not show the hundreds of people. As soon as they found out what you really like, they don't leave anyway. Are you going to talk to him? Well, I talked to him last time. Hey, 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 take it easy. You'll break yourself. Tell him we'll be back. Hey, Moose. You named them? They were my buddies. Huh? When our gym got overrun, we all ran. I always told him to work on their legs. They were too slow. Ah. They remember what I did. I know it. <laughs> Revenge zombies aren't a thing. So why don't they leave me alone? I don't know. Maybe they just didn't like Bud. Okay. Look, if I find them and uh, give them peace, you guys should be okay, right? Yeah. We always used to hang out at the gym or the lot behind Lenny's. You could look there. <laughs> don't try to talk me out of it or anything. Well, if we're out there anyway. But yeah, be careful. They're both really built. Up top, anyhow. Great. You're gonna owe me for this. Dr. Reed, you copy? I copy. Where are you? Venice. I'm just, uh, helping some guys out. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. I-I-I know it can't be easy out there. What can I say? I like to be liked. I'll be back on track soon. Well, for God's sake, be careful. We need you. Whoa. Moose and Dylan could be a handful. I don't need any scraggly extras joining me. Okay, now to check inside. Question, my friend. What you should be asking is, what does it do? Uh, do? Seriously, buddy, what are you talking about? You see this? A uh, tiny hammer? A tiny hammer now. But. <laughs> Behold, Excalibur! Okay, Patton, you know what? Uh, I have another monster to track down, so I'm just... No, gonna... no, no, wait, wait. It's, it's just like in the movies. What? Looking real! I know, right? It's insane! All this stuff, it does things. Well, I've got to get me some of this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Uh, well, uh, I gotta get back. Down below. Yeah, of course. Hey, thanks for the, um, thanks for this, Patton. I'll keep trying stuff out. Yeah. Oh, come on.
Come by. Well, if you want to. Uh, yeah. If I can. And be safe. <sighs> Just when you think your day can't get any weirder. up monsters are mutating inside huh. could this be the lobby <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> kidding me come on big boy let's fucking do it fuck i do not need this I still have eyebrows. Jesus Christ. So, first Bridezilla, then Moose, with all those weird internal mutations. And now Dylan, who ignited himself and seemed to enjoy being on fire? All right, some of Patton's magic goop. Can't wait to see what this can be. Back to the crab for a hero's welcome. Jello. Done. You're done. I'm almost well done. That's just a crime against steak. One second bud is here, next second no head, so no bud. Man. Hey, man, I'm sorry, pal. You just gotta make sure it doesn't happen again. All we need are guns, a way to, like, defend ourselves. But, hey, you know, you, you could do us a solid. Well, that depends. I, uh... The police station out on the beach! We heard gunshots the other night, so we went to the route to check it out. Some gnarly Alamo tear shit, man. Cops must have holed up there because they were blasting Z's away, but then, you know, nothing, silence. We tried to radio, see if they could, like, share supplies, but we got dead air, so, you know, it probably Z's now. I mean, we only tried 911, so maybe... All right, okay. Buddy. Yeah? I'll... I'll go check it out. Cool, cool. So, giant fucking roid-soaked monsters everywhere, huh, Trent? Yeah, that's why we need guns. Big guns. Huge caliber guns, dude. My folks were full of hate Ashbury, but now I understand what rednecks mean by feeling naked when they're not carrying. So it is done. Both of them? Yeah. <sighs> Was it, you know... Respectful? Respectful. <laughs> oh. Well, uh, let's see. Um, well, Moose kind of gave his body to science. It was a little bit messy, though. Uh, and then Dylan, well, he was kind of on fire, right? And so basically, I just had to smash the shit out of him. Told him not to skip leg day every time. Well, you know, at least you guys should be okay for a while. But you could come with me. Starling Hotel, beds, a doctor. Barbed wire, death pits, thousands of zombies? Nuh uh. Maybe some other survivors come past and we can help them out. <laughs> yeah, Kai's pop up store may still pay off. Heh, <laughs> nah. So, how do I reach the ceremony? Get into the big army base on the beach, take a quarantine corridor to the lifeguard tower. And follow the signs to the green zone. Got it. Well, I'll see you on the other side.
Oh, yeah. Of course it's this way. No, nope, must be some kind of emergency lockdown. So, where's the override? should have been Hicks. Now I get the plane, guess that corpse. Oh, this is a barrel of ass. Not Hicks. Okay. Hicks' lockdown code is the first two digits of his birthday, middle two of his lucky number, and... The last two of his dog tag. Huh. And apparently he had the shits. Seriously? Yeah, actually, a squad of soldiers sounds pretty good.
really doing it. Well, good luck, and give him hell from me. Thanks. Wait, what do you mean, good luck? Hello? I'm not gonna lie. It's tough beyond this gate. Hey, I've done middle-aged bachelorette parties. I can survive those. <sighs> Dr. Reed, Serling Hotel. How the fucking Luya I actually made it. Whoa, I'm, uh, I'm here to see Dr. Reed. Oh, you are, huh? You're not here to eat us, then. <laughs> Think I've turned vegetarian. <laughs> Comedian, huh? They look human to you. Hmm. So-so. Hmm. Well, okay then. Humans can be redeemed. Don't need to waste a bullet on this one. Hey, keep up the good work, Denise. Hey, I'm Dr. Reed, but you can call me Ruben. Let's talk in my office. We spoke on the radio about the vaccine. Hey, shh, shh. Walk with me. I'm glad you made it. Really glad, but... We gotta keep your specialness on the down low. If you really are what we've been looking for, then CDC is gonna want to talk to you. So Doctor, he doesn't want to take his shot. Ah, uh, hey, Luther. Hey, don't worry. It's just gonna pinch a bit. Let's keep walking. Where was I? Um, CDC's gonna. CDC, right, right, right. The CDC is gonna. Hey, hey, hey! I, to I told you to stay off that foot. You want me to cut it off? <laughs> Come on. Hey, come this way, huh? Now. <clears throat> so glad you're here. Now, they're gonna send a chapter to pick you up and take you to Colorado. Just you. So, I don't want my people here getting hope when they... when they got none. You understand? <laughs> nice to feel wanted. What about all the rest of you? Oh, we'll be okay. <laughs> Fall over nine times and you, you get up ten. That's what I always say. But you... you got a miracle in your blood. If we can get you to Colorado... <sighs> Humanity has a chance. Okay, so uh, when does the chopper arrive? Well, I need to let them know you're here yeah. first, and then I, yeah. We're out of food. We need to sweep those apartments before someone else cleans no, no, them no, out. No, Tisha, we gotta put that on hold. This person here is our new priority. Hey, I'm Ryan. They're more important than people starving? Yeah. I mean, no. I mean, look, kind of. I can't really talk about it right now, but... That's wait. fine. Look, you stay here. I'm gonna go with these guys. Hey, we'll hey, be back soon. Hey, you do not go outside without me. They can handle it. Hey, Doc, you know we ran out of food? <sighs> What's the plan? It, it, Dad! I am not a little girl anymore. I have to do my share. Yeah. Obviously, you've lost your mind. There are terrorists oh, out just there. Just let her go, you... Doc. She wants to be part Jimmy, of the team. Jimmy, I am talking to my daughter. I'm okay? sick of talking. Jimmy's right. I need to do something. After all that's happened, you think I'm gonna let you out of my sight? Oh, huh? I'm gonna let you turn into one of them like your mother. Oh. <sighs> Tisha, I'm sorry. But I. I can't lose you two. You're right, Dad. I shouldn't put this on you, it's not fair. Well, okay then. Come on. See you later. Yeah. Yeah, this is no place for human beings. Hey, Doc, a word of advice. You wanna stay top dog? 
You let your daughter take her chances just like everyone else. Jimmy, I have got enough things to be focusing on without your bullshit. Sure. Yeah. I'm gonna go for a smoke. Yeah, you do that. The fuck you looking at? <laughs> your shirt. <laughs> Brave choice. Yeah. Like, I need to radio CDC, but I don't want to draw too much attention to you. So, look, you make yourself at home, and I should have some good news soon. Sure. Okay? I'm gonna crash. I am totally whacked. <sighs> and then I woke up, and it was all a dream. Not there. Someone got sick. I need to tell him about Bob. Will Ruben be back soon? Fucking better be. Bob's taking way too long. Who's Bob? Janitor for this place. If you tried taking a shower, you'd know the water's out. Bob went to get it back on. I could take a look while I'm waiting. Are my ears working? Did someone just offer to help out? That would be great. We won't last long without fresh water. Bob was headed for the janitor's office. Downstairs, behind the stores. Okay. I'll see what happened. Sorry about the welcome. Can't be too careful. Some of us might die of thirst. Take a look around. Manuals are in the safe. Need to find the code. Looks like the main valve is in the boiler room off the basement parking lot. Guess Bob went there. Better clear these out so I can get Bob back safely. Sorry, Bob. I'll finish the job for you, okay? Ooh, maybe I do need a shower. They can't just leave us to die here. Bob won't be coming back. I figured. But I got the water back on. Oh yeah? That helps. A lot. You know, there's plenty of other folks missing. A whole bunch of them on the notice board over there. Maybe I'll take a look. Ruben's back in his office. You wanted him, right? Yeah. Thanks. I wish I could take a break by the piano. I love this song.
Hey, Reuben. Hey. There you go. I keep the eyes shut. Twelve hours. No light, okay? Good news, then? Uh, not really. The CDC isn't calling the shots anymore. The military have taken command, and they won't extract you until they have proof of your immunity. What the fuck? They're just so paranoid about the virus escaping from L.A. They know they can't contain it if it gets out. So what, we send a video of zombies chewing on me? Nothing quite so crude as that. But we have to test you. But my equipment is at the CDC HQ by Santa Monica Beer. And I was looking forward to a drink at the bar. Okay, I'll go. Oh, whoa, whoa. I, I don't know. I don't think you should go alone. It's okay. I am immune. I can look after myself. Hey, we fell over. We have to get up again, right? Right. Tell them I'll be back. With proof. She said, see the world, she said. Break into a zombie-infested CDC ghost town and test your blood, she said. There we go. CDC main gate. CDC in PPE. Whoopee. They are sitting in a caustic puddle. Not a fucking care. Dr. Dorian, please enter your authorization code. You have one attempt remaining. A code? Come on, this is the 21st... Can't I just, you know, rip out an eye or hack off a thumb or a nose or... Okay, how do I find this Dr. Dorian? Dorian was working on specimen type echo. This is Dorian's subject. Better check around here. Nah. That's Dorian's signature. I'm in the right place. Okay, he moved to Bay 3. P. Dorian. Got his code. Okay, Doc, we got power. What do you want me to do with this thing? You should see a circular opening big enough to stick your arm into. Okay, I see it. So, stick your arm into it. Done. Now what? It's got my arm. Just relax. It has to keep you steady so we can take the sample safely. <laughs> yeah, of course. Oh, come on. Sounds
look like you're done. Now, the sample will dispense from the side. Got it. Are there worm-like things wriggling around in it? What? <laughs> Kidding. We're good. You are really not helping, Doc. Okay, I'm out of here. Heading back. Whoa, not so fast. I still need the equipment to perform the analysis. It's called a blood drive. Looks like a laptop. Oh, sure. You want some milk? Some bread? A fruit basket, maybe? Okay, where is it? Hopefully at the lifeguard HQ. I sent someone to retrieve it from the pier, but lost contact. I'll take a look. <laughs> I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna take it out, right? Right. Just be careful. The pier was locked down, but Bundy had the key. Try to find him. Bundy, got it. Well, the real Bundy, please stand up. Stupid laptop. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, alternate route. Oh, cool. I used to love arcades. They better have a time splitters machine. Nope. 